going to do a little explanation of my setup before we get going because I have a couple big commissions to do. So what I've done, and I get to use my pottery wheel again. So I've laid down first a, um, what is this called, babe? A tarp. A tarp. <laughs> Sorry. This is a tarp. And you just went over there for a second. What did I do? Oh, you use my wheel. You just, this is the second time you've called me over, by the oh, way. You just, and I don't mind. Okay. You, you just did it again. So I, then I have my four foot doggy pool. I've taken garbage bags. I've put the, laid them on the bottom. Then I put my pottery wheel on top. Now. The first one I'm doing is a two foot canvas. So because the back, first of all, is soft, I put a, a foam board to hold the back and that will be good for resining as well. But also, this is the only flat part that's going on the wheel and it's not very stable. So my idea was to take more foam board, tape it on here so at least it has a flat surface and then, um, oh, I've also taped off the corners, to make it look nice. And then I'll drop it on here, make it all even, and it will spin, Let's, although I didn't tape it down, but I'll show you very slowly. Here we go. See, oh, there it flies. But when it's taped, it will not fly. So I'll be right back with my colors and what's gonna happen. Bye. Hi, I'm back. Sneakers just fell into all my paint. Okay, this is the delirious episode of Lisa. Okay, Martin. so yeah, let's tell everyone why you're a little off today. I'm a little off today because um, Penny, my great Dane, who's probably a 175 pound dog. I'll show you her in a minute. She had oh, butted, show her. Don't. she had butted me yesterday, weird. and so I have a bit of a shiner, but um, not a shiner on the, on the, on the, on the cheek. On my cheek. Okay, well, whatever a shiner on the she's cheek been is. Out of it ever since. But because concussion <laughs> denial. I kind of, I might have a slight concussion. Might. I, I, if I was a doctor, <laughs> I'd definitely, definitely tell you. Because I was bending down to put on her leash, and she got so excited, she went, and her head is like. Okay, but this. And let's move on that story. Okay. So then I come out from a shower after working out, and there's just paint, cups of paint all over the floor, and I, and I knew that I was like no. I saw the dog walking right custom into it. Sneakers. Oh my god. He, sneakers is needs to be shaved. Like custom sneakers. He is a custom sneaker. Come here, it's all painted. Come here. I feel really bad, but it's also kind of funny, but I'm gonna have to shave him, I think. So while you wait to see what happens to sneakers, um I'm using color. I think we should try and, and blow and then and twist. <laughs> blow and twist Look. him. Here, sneakers. Here. Oh, oh, sneakers. <laughs> He's got paint all, you don't even know, like up on his back. <laughs> Anyways, good boy, Sneakers. So those are the colors I'm using today. Um, so, oh, this is a two foot canvas, okay? So I used one whole container of Sherwin-Williams color to go and I schmooshed it out. And then I took another container and put a little bit more in the middle. This is a commission she wanted Greens, purples, blacks, whites, big cells, little cells, swipes, blows. She just wanted everything. And so, you know, A, I don't really work with green that much. I don't really know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to do the best. And you're a bit delirious. So and this I'm is great. delirious, but I have work to do. I have a lot of commissions. This could be the best one you've ever done. And I can't complain about all my commissions. I thank you so much. This has become more of a... Let's call it overwhelming. It's no, it's not. Why? Overwhelming. Your response was overwhelming. I think you were like, I think oh, you were a little like I thought, oh, taken yes. back by how much people loved your stuff. Yes, I, I, yes, that kind of. Over, I'm not overwhelmed with like the work. No, I meant but like. Yes, uh, I'm overwhelmed with all your responses. It's been so amazing, and I love you all. Um, okay, so the colors that we're doing today, and I think this is going to be my order. Um, we're going to start with one of my faves lately has been this PBO blue black iridescent because in some light it looks gray but then in other lights it's like this like moonstone beautiful blue and she really liked that from one of my coasters she saw. The next level is going to be, where is that green? Um, I, don't, I don't even think I've ever used this before, Matisse Emerald. It's transparent. Um, the next level is going to be another transparent um, 
permanent blue violet, Amsterdam. Next level, we're gonna do a sparkly. So I got interference, uh, this is golden, interference green blue. And what that's gonna do is, again, in certain lights, it shifts, but especially when you resin, it gives the piece like some really cool 3D effects. Then I'm gonna put a little Atelier Red Black on top of that. Now, sneakers spilt this color, so I only have a little bit um, of this Pearl Pastel Green Arteza. And then we've got um, Atelier Brilliant Violet. I know this seems like a lot of colors, but I just wanted to make sure it looked good so I don't know what's gonna happen. Hi, Mo, you wanna say hi? No. Okay, this is Joe Sonia Opal. And then I mixed Deco Art Extreme Sheen Silver with Arteza to paint to make it thicker. Today, oh, we have, um, it also has some paint in it. Um, I have Payne's Gray Cell Activator, the Shelly Art Recipe. I have a 15% off discount of her class. Um, you should take it, it's really great. Okay, so that's what we're doing. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna blow it out with my regular hair dryer. This is a Baby Bliss. I like it because the mouth is a little smaller than a regular one. Um, so, <sighs> let's see what happens. I put less pillow paint down than I normally do to see what will happen. I hope it's enough. I don't really know. Okay, let's just get to it, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with the PBO Blue Black. Get that down. Okay, so we got that going. Now, the next we're going to do, I'm just going to do a bit of their green because, you know, I'm a little concerned about green. I don't know why. It's just not really my jam. And I'm going to do it on half of it. I hope I put enough pillowcake down. Um, then I'll do some purple darker purple. It's a little thicker, so I'm going to go gentle. Okay, then I'll do the interference. Ugh. Okay. Put that everywhere because it's nice. Now it looks a little pink, but that's just because my pouring medium and my tintable paint is a little pink, but it won't dry pink. All right, now let's go for black. I'll do a little bit only, because it's also quite thick. Let's just tilt the back a little bit here. I hope it stays on. I taped the bottom, but you never know, right? I wish I could keep it in just a little bit. I'll do the rest of that pearl green that I have left. I'll just put her, put her everywhere. Okay. Next, I'll do the light purple. This is also quite thick. The reason why some of my paints are thick is because the pouring medium I'm using, which is Wapco lately has been very inconsistent. Some cans I open, they're really super thin and some are super thick. So it's hard, I'm just being really messy. It's hard, uh, hard to deal with really. I should try to find a new one. I'm in Canada, so I don't have, I think so, it's a big blue. Was that a blue or? There is a blue in there somewhere. Maybe I'll see what it's been. Um, so it's hard to find. I, I've tried the Sherwin Williams. I don't know if I love it. Okay, I'm putting a bit of that opal down. I'll put it over here. Just a bit. And then finally, we have the silver. And it has also a little other color paints in it because of sneakers. Oh, oh Lord. 
All right. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put it more in the middle because it helps the cells really pop under the cell activator. of spots I don't like. So I'm going to get in the tub. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, I can't reach that one. That's the wrong one. Now, I'm not too sure to be honest. Well, the colors look cool, so that's going to spin out a bit. I hope so. Oh, I know. It's can you go too fun. fast though? Yes, you can go too fast. So this is my little foot pedal. See everyone? I, I built her this spinner. Oh thing. yeah, he built it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go slowly. Yeah, okay. slowly. Let me see. Okay, so slow. shots of green from behind there. Yeah. It's very emeraldy. Um, we're not warping yet, but we're close to it. And I'm just going to spin it a bit more. What's wrong? Oh, okay. I'll go the other way. Okay. I've just never seen this in action. Isn't that fun? It is fun. Okay. Other way. 
just a tad. I want to make sure all the paint's off anyways. Okay, stop. Take a look. Ooh, let's see. Is metallics in there? Yes, that's silver. Yeah, because that metallics, man, are so looking good when you epoxy them or whatever it's called. Yeah, resin. Really? What do you think? Is this too dark? Could be muddy in some spots, but it looks nice. Yeah, this is kind of cool looking, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna squash this one. I wouldn't squash. It. No, well, I have to send it to her to see if she likes it. And again, if not, I think someone else would like it. Yeah. And I think once the epoxy's on there, or the resin, sorry. Yeah. That just makes everything pop. Like it's. It's kind of cool. Yeah, no, it is. I, I, like I said, I also love that green, that green emerald. Yeah, it's not a bad green. All right, I'm about to do a close up. Thanks for joining. Let me know what you think. Um, hope you enjoyed this little bit. Bye.